hey guys it's Tops here welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i want to show you how you can literally include any landing page out there and how you can easily edit that landing page and then you can make it live you can customize it and make it your own in this short tutorial if you are excited about this let's get started immediately so right on my screen here is a sample landing page i want us to use this is one of my website one of my landing page one of the product i'm selling so two tools i'll be recommending for you to help you clone any landing page out there one is an online platform and the second one is a software the online platform is a tool or a website called saveweb2zip.com uh, so you can literally see it called saveweb2 then zip.com that this will literally help you clone any landing page out there with a click of a button but the not a good thing about this tool is that it can only clone one page per time so if you are cloning just a landing page a single landing page this is the tool i recommend for you so if you want to clone uh maybe a a landing page like what i have on my screen here that have other pages like about or hire me or login or have maybe two three pages i would recommend you look at the software called ht track you can type HTTrack into your browser and then you can go to the download page and once you are there, you can come down here and select your PC, your computer and then download here. In case you're new to HTTrack and you want to learn more about this software and what it can do, I will leave a link in the video description or you can just come to my YouTube channel generally. So if you scroll down here, I've got quite a number of videos around. So you see this is the uh, tutorial here how to use ht track website copier so you can literally clone and and upload any website using this software so that's it so let's come back to this url and then we can just copy this landing page since we are going to use this for example purpose and we can just come down here we can just plug uh that url here and then we hit the save button and then this uh website will download that landing page into HTML of course. Okay, that's downloading into our computer. So we give this time so you can see here it's downloading. So uh, for HT track, you can literally just download it running like every normal software. If you do, you can launch it. Uh, you should have an interface just like this if you do. And once you do, there is no need to worry about. The only thing you need to do is just hit the next button. And then you can give your project a name. I can just call this loan tutorial. So let me just say tools. And then category, there's no need for that. So I want this to save into my document folder, which is fantastic. And I can go next. And then, yes, what do I want to do? I want to download the website. And then I can just add the URL here. And that's literally everything I need to do with this software. I can just go next as well. And then I can just hit the finish button and then you can see this software is downloading that website into a PC. This will download every of the pages uh, present on that website into a local. I will close this and uh, allow this process to continue. So I want to believe that this uh, download here is done. So you can see save web to zip is done. So I can just literally open this up. I have the zip file here, so I can just extract this. All right, so yeah, we have the extraction done. So for us to be able to check out what this landing page look like, so we're going to open up this index, but I'll just right click this and then I'll open this with my current browser, which is Opera. So I will open this up. So let's see. So you can literally see the same website I have here uh, live on this live website here is the same thing now I have on my local uh, PC directly in my downloads folder so you can see fantastic the same literally the same thing the not a good thing about this is just that we won't have access to all the other pages they will be linking back to the live website so now let's see how we can edit this let's say for example we want to make changes to some text here we want to change some image we want to change the logo we want to make necessary adjustment so that we can customize this to look like our home before we now upload the website to our live server us to be able to do that i recommend that you download this tool here called blue griffon so you can just go to blue griffon blue b l u e griffon.org and then you can easily come to download and then you can just come down here to windows i'm using windows uh, 10 so i can just easily download this into my 
computer uh, you download the zip and you unzip it so in my case i've done that right now so i have the software uh, folder here in my local disk so this is it blue blue griffon 3.1 uh, so you can see that here so if i open this up and then i open this as well so you can just scroll down here till you see an application here which is called blue griffon so you can just uh, click on this to launch this software so you don't need to run it you don't need to install anything just download that folder and then open this application but what i would advise that you do is that you right click this and you can send this to your desktop so that you can have a shortcut there or maybe in your in your downloads or whatever you wherever you want to have the shortcut so that you don't need to always come down into the folder here for you to be able to access this uh software so that's it so i have this uh, i have that software up and running on my computer so so if you click on that blue griffon you should open the software you should look exactly like this uh, so right now let me just click on the file here and then let me come to open and then i can choose a file that i want to so here is the downloaded uh website here i can open this up and then i can just load my index and then i can open this in the new tab and i'll click ok so that's it uh let's open this up big time so that's full screen so you can see now we literally now have this website here uh so this is the live website you can edit this on the live website so if you open up this software if you come down here you see that you have several options here so this is literally like the live page but you can also come switch to the source here i uh, to give us the code of the website so you can see this is literally the html of that website but one thing i would advise that you do is for you to come to this dual view that way you are able to see both the live and also the code uh, so I can literally just drag this more to have more like the web view. So that's it here. So now we can edit this HTML website uh, live here using this live editor. So let's say we are changing this from ClickBank. For example, I just want to put uh, maybe DAPS tutorial. For example, I can just say apps tutorial aren't you tired of searching all over youtube for best apps tutorial videos that's quite fantastic you can see how we change that real quick and the thing is that once you click anything here it will highlight where it is in the code here so you can literally make changes to that it's literally simple the same thing for this as well in case we want to change at this image so while we click that so you can see that as located where the image is so if i zoom into this so you can see the image here is images combo.png so the same thing we can do so you can see this is the image here combo.png uh, so let's say that i want to change that image maybe i should just find a random image to change that image to uh, let's come to download let's just say i want to use this image i can just uh copy this image and then i can come back and then i can paste that image here okay so right now what i can do is i can rename this image i can just call this combo i think old and then i can rename this right now to combo that's it so we have changed uh this to combo but we don't need to change this we can literally just put this name here and then change it right here on the website but either way uh it all works so we can you can see everything here every element here is editable i can change this from start now i can stay start today literally just make changes here and there to text to images to everything and once you are done you can just come to file here and hit save changes button and once you hit the save changes we can close this right now let's come back here and then let's refresh this so you can see this image now has changed because we changed the combo.png image uh, so you can see start today everything here 
has been updated so this is literally i don't want to waste so much time trying to show you how to make this edit but i believe this is literally super simple with a visual page builder like that it makes it very easy for you to edit any html page out there so right now go ahead do all of these changes and then once you are done you are ready to upload your downloaded website now to a live server hosting guys my recommended web hosting for starters right now because it is the best budget friendly hosting out there it gives you amazing resources at an incredibly cheap amount so you can check the video description for you to see a link to hostinga is my affiliate link if you click on that link it should bring you to hostinga uh, here where you have access to buy for as low as 2.99 you have access to free three months and you get 75 percent off so if you also if you also check my video description you would see that you have uh, you would see that i have also a coupon code that gives you an amazing discount so hit the claim deal button you can come down here i would naturally recommend you use a premium web hosting because it gives you access to up to 100 websites but if you are very sure that you are looking at just one website, you can just uh, go with your standard, which is at 1.99. In case that you can't find this single web hosting, you can just make sure you come to hosting slash web hosting, or you can just come to hosting here. When you click this, when you come to web hosting, you would be able to see this single. But for me, I love to just use a plan that allows me install more than one website so I can add this to that. And then when you're here, you can just choose a period, a duration. I always recommend 48 months because you pay 2.99 and then your renewal fee is at 6.99 as against 7.99, 9.99, and 11.99, which is flat rate uh, for a monthly fee. So if you come down here, you can come to i have a coupon code and then you can use my coupon code called dabs and then you can eat this you can say this is giving an amazing discount so you can buy for as low as 129 dollars for a 48 months plan plus three months which is literally 51 months plan that's crazy that's a lot uh, to enjoy so you can put your email, put your password and choose a payment gateway and then you hit the secure payment. So immediately you complete your secure checkout, you should have an option for you to change your password, set the password that you're convenient with and then also bring you here where you can start now, set up your uh, hosting. So let's just hit the start, start now button. Do you want to create a main website or migrate? Well, I'll just say i want to skip this an empty website uh, so you can choose a free domain name if you just register so like you can see here so in case you want to uh, use your free domain name you can just hit this select a uh, free domain name here and then type in the domain name once it's available you can search choose your convenient tld.com is popularly used and then you can search but for the purpose of this example i would not be claiming this free domain name I will just use an existing domain name that I have already, which is my CB Mastery. I will select this. And then you can see I can just easily just finish this setup. Uh, so you can see this is setting up a website. So this is exactly this is exactly how it is done with Ostinga. In case you are not using Ostinga, it's the same process. Just go to your C panel, uh, whatever domain name you want to use. Uh, you can set it up in case it's already set up that's fine what you want to do is just come to control panel as you can see we are doing here uh, so once we open that up just as you can see here right now is the c panel is literally the same regardless of the interface what you want to look out for is the file manager because we need to upload those files into the file manager that belongs to the domain that we want live so i will just come to file manager now that we have this up you can just come to your public underscore html so that's exactly where we're going to be uploading our file so we have our default .php file here so if i try to open up that domain which is my cb mastery so you can see we have this default page here from hostinger so this uh, php script here is responsible for that so what we're going to do is to click this and then hit delete on our computer and then yes delete this so once we delete this, if we come back to this home page now and refresh, we should see that we have 4.3 for hidden and that's it. 
just in case you don't have the default of php on your own c panel is fine so just make sure that your public underscore html is empty and then we can open up a clone file so this is the file here but ideally what i will advise you do in case you note that this is empty is for you to zip this just like the way we downloaded it then upload it to uh, the file manager and then unzip in the file manager but this website here is light so i would literally just uh transfer as is so I'll copy this copy this i don't really don't need this index i really don't need this because it should be doing the same thing for both so that's everything i need to do i can just try to just drag this here and then i can just drag this into my public underscore html so you can see these files are uploading so we're going to give this some few seconds for this to finish up yeah we have our upload complete so uh, our files now are here so now let's come back to our live website now and let's refresh this literally you can see the same website we have here has now been cloned into this live website here but you can see we have made changes we have edited uh, some of the text here uh, that's literally how super simple and easy it is for you to clone any website or any landing page out there online and then edit them and then upload them to a live so, uh ht track right now you can see this is done so i can literally just clone I can close that so i have uh the clone tooth folder here so as you can see uh so if i click my clickbankguide.com which is the website so if i scroll down so you can see i have different pages here uh, so these pages are different pages on the website so you can see i have my wp admin whipping wp content if i open this up i see all my themes all the plugins i have so this is a literal clone so you can come down here you can make changes while well, with blue griffon like i showed you i will also done that tutorial I eventually later how to use blue griffon with these multiple pages edit all the pages one after the other and then upload them to a live server so if you want to see that let me know in the comment section and you can check it may be live already when you're watching this video and that's my time for this tutorial i hope you found value for your time if you do give me a thumbs up if you have any issues, let me know in the comment section. I'll look out for them to help you as much as possible as I can. That's it. I'll see you in another one. And until then, have a nice time.